right, so we're here with Andrew Schultz, first time runner in the uh, HBH. He ran a 45 flat this year in the City Bay, and uh, he's certainly been given it some chance, but he's uh, currently at 5 to 1. How's your. Uh, I thought it was 20 to 1. Uh, uh, Lay the odds. <laughs> But uh, how have your preparations been for this race? Um, pretty much Christmas parties, so uh, I've been taking the last three weeks of Christmas parties. A lot of carbo loading, um, yeah, that kind of stuff. So probably not the ideal preparation. And what's your uh, first impressions of the uh, HBH returning? Oh, the buzz is uh, it's exhilarating. Great buzz, good atmosphere. Uh, a bunch of buzz. Well, and uh, the City Bay is obviously Case. Yes, yes. Uh, got the speed to go over. Uh, well, seven k is actually my speed. Just finding everything. There you go. There you go. Heard it here first, folks. So I think he's in the four to one currently. Um, <laughs> we'll see him at the finish line. So we're here with uh, the people's run. Well, the second people's run. That's just like goes off in the women's race. So we've got number 18 here, Nathan Spreble, 29 years of age, almost 30. So for seven minute handicap today. He finished an uh, incredible attempt last year. How are you feeling about today's race, mate? I feel okay. I woke up with sore feet, thought about pulling out, but then I realised I'm better than that. Um, I've been falling like flies in the lead up, so I'm uh, I think that's increasing my chances, but let's be honest, at, at seven minutes I'm officially the worst runner in the race. Coming off the biggest handicap, so that's a, that's a fair uh, incentive to how much people rate my chances. So there's a couple of other people off the seven as well, so you're yeah, probably the equal worst run. Um, let's be honest, Nathan will be uh, at least a midfield, if not a uh, top seven or eight uh, finish today. I think that's the. I don't think you can win it. It's my personal view. Well, let's be honest. I enjoy people riding me off, and uh, Australia's greatest ever winter athlete, Jackie Cooper, was always told she wasn't a very talented runner. I know I'm not very talented either. But after you know, 20 odd World Cup wins and the best winter athlete ever from Australia, she said she firmly believes that passion triumphs over pedigree every time. I think I've got the passion today, Matthew Clark. I'm sure you've got the passion. Whether you have the pedigree, uh, time will tell. Uh, are we rolling? Yep. So we're here with the, uh, the famous German, Patrick Backmeyer. Um, he's a, not a co founder of the race, but he's been, he's been around for a long time. The people want you to win. I'm sure of that there's a, a groundswell of support. What do you think your chances are today? Today, probably not the best, I'd say. But um, I've had about four or five runs since my knee injury. And I'm feeling, I'm feeling better, and I'm feeling like I can give it, a, I can give it a shot. But in terms of winning, no chance. Um, we're looking at the JDs, the Clarks, even Schultz could be a chance. But I tell you what, Pat Clark has got a massive opportunity, and I hope he gets it today. So do I. Um, what, what would be a, a realistic goal for you today? Today I'm looking to probably get a PB. So far it's 35 44, which is pretty dismal. But uh, we've got a nice tailwind, so hopefully I can get hopefully sub 35, but can't promise anything. We'll see how it goes. It could be a day, but PBs, the, the one thing is for sure that the, uh, the crowd along the uh, 7.5k trek today will be cheering for the big jam, so enjoy the race. Yeah, cheers, Thanks, man. Good. So we're here with, the, uh, with four of the new runners. Veteran club, as they've uh, been referred to by the, the crowd here today. Oh, boo -boo. We've got Pete, Shari, Ben Ryan, and Fala Chuchu, <laughs> James Bird. <laughs> um, so we're just going to gather their thoughts on what they're feeling on their uh, their debut run. So Pete, with you first, what are you uh, what are you feeling for the run today? Yeah, it's going to be good. A lot of good contenders out here. Could have been a bit warmer. Yeah. <laughs> Apart from that, should be a good run. And Shari, I know you've been doing a little bit of uh, running this year. How are you going to handle the uh, seven and a half days? Yeah, <laughs> I think um, no, I'm feeling good, feeling fresh. And, um, yeah, so saved up for what today. Yeah. Yeah. The kids have been, uh, Kathy's been taking care of the kids for the last couple of weeks in preparation. And uh, Ben Ryan, possibly the could grow to be the biggest uh, HBA rivalry of these two men here. Um, how are you feeling? First, first run ever against uh, James Burton over the torturous 7.6 kilometres. Yes, no, first time. First first race I've really ever ran, actually. So it'll be, it'll be interesting. <laughs> it will be. Yeah, very interesting. And uh, James Burton's. The rumours around the traps are a heavy training schedule. Period. What has that training schedule involved? Well, there's been a lot of cartons, 
and involves. Yeah, uh, heavy, heavy crates and pallets. Um, yeah, a thing uh, like uh, red wine. Yes. Uh, involved as well. Hold you in good stead for today. Great stead, I should have done. Um, hopefully, I can catch these girls. I think I'll be hard pressed to do it though. You won't. No, no, no. But I'll do luck for the race. There you go. <laughs>